Dear friends, I just want to encourage you on this beautiful sunny day. Um, we thank God that as we look around us, if we are being vigilant, being watchful, we would recognize that there are much shaking that is happening across the world. There are much serious disasters that has taken place and we cannot ignore these things. We must acknowledge them. We must keep our eyes on the word of God and remain connected to what is written in the word. We thank God that today we have life. Today we are in good health. We thank God that we are here, you know, as we look around, as we switch on the television, as we look on the internet, so many major disasters are happening everywhere. But because of social media, where information is now instant, I find that our sensitivity, our awareness, our shock, you know, to towards the things that are happening has very much decreased by a great deal. Um, but we must still remain aware. We must remain mindful because these things are not happening by coincidence. They're not just some strange events that are happening. God is in control. And so we must acknowledge that these things are written about. And so it's an opportunity for us to examine our own life, assess ourselves and make sure that we are in right standing with God. So I just want to encourage you today to keep your eyes upon the price. As for me, my salvation is the price. I thank God that that is secure in him. It was given to me by the blood of Jesus, the blood that Jesus shed upon the cross of Calvary. Through his sacrifice, I have gained eternal life in the kingdom of God. And for those of us who believe and those of us who have confessed Jesus Christ as Lord, we have security in him but we also have to strive for the finish the goal the, the the finish the price the reward and the reward is eternal life now we have answered to the call and there are things that we need to do to ensure that we stay faithful that we remain in him you know, and, and, and there are challenges that comes in life that may provoke us to, to almost question our fate at times. Is God real? Is this even worth it? It is worth it. God is very real. Our relationship in him through his son, Jesus Christ, it matters. As for me, it gives me peace. It keeps me sane. It gives me confidence. I have a blessed assurance that no one can take away from me because Jesus is indeed mine. I have chosen to make him mine with my own heart, with my own consciousness. I have made that decision. No one forced me to do it. I made that decision for myself. So I just want to encourage you. Keep your eye on the prize. Continue to strive for his standard is holy. The world has lost its mind. It has lost its sense of morality. It has lost its sense of godliness. Everyone wants to identify themselves however they want to identify themselves. That is not the way of God. It's not the will of God. And whenever we are being provoked with that kind of philosophy and mentality, 
if any of us fear God, we would learn to rebuke it because we would know that that lust, that evil thought, because it is an evil thought, comes from the devil. It is from the pit of hell. And so I encourage you today, rebuke any idea that come into your mind that contradicts the word of God. I don't care how popular it is in the world that we are living in. I don't care how they legalize things in the world that we are living in. You know who you are as a child of God. Remain steadfast in your faith and trust God and live your life to please God. Don't live your life to be for the approval of man, but live it for the approval of the most high God. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day. Remain blessed in him and, you know, let your fruits, let your fruits, let your life bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, righteousness, truth, justice. All these things are of Christ. Let your life radiate the light of Jesus. God bless you. Stay wonderfully blessed in Jesus' name. Be encouraged.